Hello, in this video I'd like to talk about NordVPN servers and when to use them. Just in case if you are not familiar with the VPN and NordVPN, it's short for Virtual Private Network and it is a technology that helps you to keep your internet activity private and secure. It does this by creating a secure and encrypted connection between your device and the internet. When you use a VPN, your internet traffic is sent through a private and secure tunnel to a server operated by the VPN provider. This helps to protect your privacy and prevent others from monitoring or intercepting your online activity. Using a VPN can also allow you to access websites or online content that might otherwise be blocked or restricted in your area, for example. And NordVPN is a popular VPN provider that gives you secure and private access to the internet. It allows users to connect to the internet through a private and encrypted connection, hiding their IP address and protecting their online activity. NordVPN has servers in different parts of the world that allow you to access content that may be blocked in your area. It's easy to use and has many features such as support for multiple devices, strong security protocols and, and a really, really good customer support. So here I have my NordVPN desktop app opened. If you are not sure how to install NordVPN, I have a video about how to set it up here. Now with that out of the way, let's get back to talking about the NordVPN servers. So NordVPN has over 5,000 VPN servers worldwide, but not all provide the same protection or security. The choice of NordVPN servers to use depends on your specific needs and preferences. In general, it's recommended to use a server that is geographically close to your physical location to minimize latency and improve your, your connection speed. If you need to access content that is restricted in your country, you can connect to a server in another country where the content is available. So if I click here, on the left side, you can see the list of available countries and you can just click on them and NordVPN will connect to that server. So for example, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, click on Canada and NordVPN is now connecting and it is now connected. So if you hover over the country name and you see these three dots next to it, it means that there are more than one server available in that location. If you click on it, you will see the list of available locations. By default, NordVPN will connect you to the fastest server in that location, or you can select whichever you want from here. So these are the regular servers. If you don't need anything specific, these should be okay for you. However, NordVPN also offers specialized servers for specific purposes, so you can choose a server based on your particular needs. You can find these servers here under the Specialty Servers tab. So what are these exactly? Let's go over them one by one. Let's start from the bottom. You can connect to these servers the same way I just showed you. Just click on the three dots and connect to the default fastest server or select your preferred one. The NordVPN's P2P server is designed to support peer-to-peer -peer file sharing activities on the network. This type of server is optimized for fast and secure torrenting, for example, which allows users to share large files with one another over the internet. It does this by hiding your IP address and encrypting your internet traffic so no one can see what you are doing online. The P2P servers are located in countries where torrenting is legal, so you don't have to worry about breaking any laws. If you plan to use NordVPN for P2P file sharing, it's recommended to connect to one of their specialized P2P servers for best uh, performance and security. By the way, right now I'm on Windows. 
if you are on a Mac, your interface might look a bit different and you may not see some of the options you can see here on my screen. Nevertheless, you should be able to follow the video. So for example, the specialty servers tab is on the bottom part of this uh, sidebar on a, on a Mac. If you don't see all specialty servers in the list, you may need to change your protocol in the settings. To do that, you need to go to settings, connection, and here you can change the VPN protocol. On Windows, I haven't seen this problem, but on Mac, when I use the recommended protocol or NordLynx, I only have two types of specialty servers available. I'm on Windows right now, as I mentioned, but I created a couple of screenshots on a Mac, so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is a screenshot of my settings on my Mac, and as you can see, the protocol is set to NordLynx, and here I can only see two specialty servers. But if I change the VPN protocol to OpenVPN, for example, now I have all the specialty servers available. It's worth to note that NordLynx protocol provides the fastest connections, so unless you need to use one of the missing specialty servers, just leave the protocol on NordLynx or the recommended uh, option. Okay, so we discussed the P2P servers. Let's talk about these uh, Onion over VPN servers. It's an interesting name. So these servers are designed to give you more privacy online. When you use them, your internet traffic is first sent through NordVPN's servers, which hide your IP address and encrypt your traffic. Then it goes through the Tor network, which adds even more privacy. In short, the Tor network is a way to protect your privacy by sending your traffic through a series of relays. By using NordVPN's Onion over VPN servers, you can keep your online activity private and prevent others from seeing what you are doing. Of course, there is a downside to this. The Tor network may slow down your internet connection and some websites may not work properly. So keep that in mind. Let's move on to the next one. Obfuscated servers are designed to bypass internet restrictions and censorship in countries or networks that may block VPN traffic. This is achieved by making the VPN traffic look like regular HTTPS web traffic, which is more difficult to identify and block by network administrators or internet service providers. When you use one of these servers, your internet traffic is hidden inside the same protocol that most websites use, called HTTPS. This makes it harder for anyone to detect that you're using a VPN, which helps you access the internet more freely and securely. Obfuscated servers are especially helpful if you are in a country with strict internet censorship or surveillance, such as China, Russia, or the Middle East. They can also help you bypass network restrictions in schools, workplaces, or public Wi-Fi hotspots. It's important to note that using these obfuscated servers may affect your internet speed and performance. This is because the extra encryption and obfuscation process can slow down your connection. The next one is double VPN. The double VPN server is a special feature that gives you an extra layer of security online. When you use it, your internet traffic is routed through two different VPN servers instead of just one. This means that your traffic is encrypted and sent through two different countries, which helps you protect you against hacking, surveillance, and other online threats. Keep in mind that this feature may impact your connection speed due to the extra processing and routing involved. It's recommended to use this feature only when you need an extra layer of security, such as when you are accessing sensitive information or using public Wi-Fi, for example. And lastly, we have dedicated IP. The dedicated IP server is a feature that allows you to use a static IP address instead of a dynamic IP address when connecting to the VPN. This means that every time you connect to the VPN, you will be assigned the same unique IP address, which is exclusively reserved for you. 
It can be useful for a number of reasons. For example, if you need to access a remote server or device that is configured to only accept connections from specific IP addresses, you can use your dedicated IP address to ensure that you are able to connect. In addition, using a dedicated IP address can help to improve your connection speed and performance since you are not sharing the server's IP address with other NordVPN users. So in a nutshell, this is all that you should know about these servers. NordVPN has a page where you can quickly find the right server for yourself, depending on what you want to do. So let's uh, select an activity, uh, secure P2P traffic, and we need to select where we want to connect from. Let's uh, select Argentina, click search, and it found one, and if we go back here and select P2P and click on the drop-down menu, indeed, we can see that Argentina is here in the list. I will leave a link to this page in the description of the video. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching.